guys, what's up? Esty Fit Chick here with week 11 update. So, week 11. Week 11 was pretty good. Um, so I really had to, just based on things going on around me, I really had to dig deep and, you know, have, there was a lot going through my head. There, there's been a lot of emotions this week, so. As I had mentioned in previous week, like my eating wasn't, um, hasn't been on point as much as um, I would have liked it to be or had planned for it. But guess what? In life, things change and that's okay. So I have not been um, as strict as usual. I'm following more of a flexible dieting these last couple weeks, and that's just what's working for me in life right now. So when I started out the 90 day challenge, it wasn't originally what I had planned on, but I have been making such progress with my strength in the gym. Um, and with that, I've been having more cravings and carbohydrates, are something that I'm kind of sensitive to in the fact that when I have them, then I have a tendency to want more. Um, and there's been times in the past where I've kind of spiraled out of control. One thing that's important is not to deprive yourself. It's also really important to listen to your body. So um, initially, I was kind of frustrated with myself. I'm like, why am I not sticking to my plan? But then, on the other hand, I'm really enjoying the strength and the personal records I'm hitting in the gym. And here's the thing, in all of that, I didn't really gain any weight. I didn't lose any weight, but that's okay. But I know that I'm getting more strength, so I'm building muscle, um, and I believe that I'm losing fat because I am looking leaner. So, although the scale doesn't reflect a difference, I still feel like I'm making progress and I know I'm making progress in my strength. So, I embraced that flexible eating this week and I just kind of went with it. And I don't really want to call it a cheat week because it's not really cheating. Um, you never want to look at it in that negative light and we're just so used to, I mean at least me, I'm so programmed to say a cheat and it's not really necessarily a cheat, it's just straying from the plan that I had set myself for myself originally. So a lot of the time I still did do really well with my eating but at other times I had some things that I wouldn't usually have and that's okay because it was wonderful in the gym. Like when I got to the gym and I was working out, I was feeling really energized. I was increasing my weight with each time that I went. Now there was one day when I was doing some lap pull downs and I had to decrease my weight, not because of my lats, but because of my arms. Um, my grip, I was having a hard time with it and I don't ever want to hurt myself, so the weight that I'm doing isn't as, poor, as important to me as the health of my body. So if there's something that's starting to hurt or doesn't feel right, then adjust and continue your workout. But don't continue to push or strain when you're doing something because that's not what's important. What's important is getting a workout in using safety first, proper form, and listening to your body. So that's what I had to do. So I finished my workout, I just lowered the weight to where it was comfortable for my wrists. And then um, I saw my medical massage therapist who worked on my forearms and my wrist for my grip, which actually some of that comes from like some knots that I had in my back. So it just all ties together. Um, but it was still a good workout. I still finished through. I didn't just give up and I didn't push myself to the point where I would hurt myself because if you injure yourself, you're going to be out for a long time and you won't be making any progress. Whereas if you just adjust, at least you're still getting your workout in. And 
my legs. The strength is just unbelievable with the flexible eating that I've been doing. So I just chose to make the most of what I've done and um, I'm almost at the end of this 90 days. I just have the one week left and I'm already looking into what I'm gonna be doing for my next um, next workout plan because you do want to switch it up every once in a while. Um, I'm also considering doing maybe some carb cycling. I don't know. I have a lot of research to do in that area and um, just get down what I know because knowledge is power. And so I really want to look into different options and then test it out and see what works for my body. And I mean, that's what you have to do for yourself as well. Everybody's body is different. So just research, research, free research, give something a try, but allow it time to see if it works or not. You're not gonna see a difference or feel a difference in just a, a few weeks. I would say give it a try for at least 30 days to see how it's working for you. Sometimes people's body takes, bodies take longer to respond. <laughs> so um, that is that as far as that goes. Still really good with my water intake. Um, I have cut back on my coffee intake, which is good because I was drinking quite a bit more and I still do have to have my coffee to wake up in the morning. Um, that's, that's just me. I need my coffee. Um, I think that is it for about that. Um, I, like I said, I weighed myself. I am staying about the same weight. Um, I haven't taken any measurements. I'm just going to wait until the final week is done to do that. I'm not really that concerned about it right now. Uh, right now, I am just really excited about the progress I'm making in the gym with my strength. Um, I'm probably the strongest that I've ever been, which is super exciting. Um, I don't know how it feels to you guys, but when I can add more plates, to that bar, it's really exciting. I <laughs> I was at the gym this week and I was doing my jump squats and kettlebell swings and I was waiting for a, mich a Smith machine to open up so I could grab one. And there's one that I like in particular because it's the only one that faces the right way. And I'm waiting for it and then I see this guy start to put up the weights. I'm like, yes! So I like run over there. Well, not run, I walked pretty quickly over there and then like his Powerade bottle was still there and I was waiting for him to come back. I'm like, is he done? Is he not done? I don't want to be that person who takes the machine. So I'm kind of like waiting around, like hovering like a vulture. And he comes back and I ask, so I'm like, are you done with this? And he's like, yeah, but it's heavy. I'm like, okay, so you're done with it? Cause he's still standing around it and he's like, but the bar's heavy and I'm like, okay, like I'm not concerned about that or are you done with the machine? <laughs> and so he's like, yeah, but it's heavy. I'm like, I got this, it's fine. It's fine, I got it. And then um, he just kind of still like hovers and I'm loading the 45 pound plates onto each side and he's like, you're scaring me. That's gonna be really heavy. And I'm thinking to myself like, have you never seen a girl with this much? Because I know that there are girls who lift heavier than I do. You know, I'm still working my way up to that point, but it was just really funny for some guy to be so concerned and really think that I, I couldn't do it. So it was also a good feeling to show him that, yes, girls can do that. So just a, a little story that's gonna just stick with me for a while because I was, so just confused by him, you know, thinking that I couldn't do it. So it was also kind of nice to show him that I could. Um, I guess that that's about it. So until next week. All right, check you guys then. Take care. Love you guys. If you like the video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. Please share this video with your friends. Um, you know, my goal is to inspire as many people as possible. So if there's anyone out there who needs some inspiration, please share. Thanks guys. Bye.